Reading fluency, we are going to look at some other simple activities. Echo reading, best for younger readers. Simple activity, but effective. Do it a little bit every day. Teacher reads a line of text. Students echo it back. Simple. Can be done with whole class, small groups, or individual. You want to point to the words as you are reading and as students echo it back. This can be done with preschool kids. Reader's theater. There's a variety of methods. You use with a story that students have already read. You can use just the book and assign parts, or you can actually break it into parts and create a kind of script thing with dialogue and a narrator. Here you see the teacher has taken the book and created a script out of it. It enables students to practice rereading their lines. All right, and some students you can give more lines, some students fewer lines. I like to make sure I include a narrator. Uh, sometimes I even include some people to be sound effects people. Audio tape these and use with picture books so students can look at the pictures and enjoy the book. Great idea. Here's an example of Reader's Theater script. You can stop and look at that if you wish. Another idea is conversations. Now remember, dialogue and conversation is more familiar to students, easier to read and process. On a PowerPoint or a word processor, simply have a conversation with students. Record your dialogue and the student's dialogue. Now these can be real or imaginary. All right. Hi Chip. Hi Pat and you get the idea. And I, I like to be imaginative. If you want to use this in a social studies class, history class, this could even be a historical character or a character from the book. You can have a lot of fun with this. After you do this many times, students, by the way, can do this by themselves with another students. Song lyrics. Excellent source for using for reading practice with students with significant reading disabilities intermediate, middle school, and above. Song lyrics are poetry, and they have an emotional content, all right? Use a scaffolded oral reading eventually, and then have students reread until fluency is achieved. Now, you can create phonics mini lessons. There's a word in the second line that ends with a t, 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 that. Good. There's a word in the third line that ends with a d sound. Right? Save for reading practice. And again, these words are connected emotionally with middle school and high school students. It makes sense to use that. Some other simple activities.